Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. How are you doing? And uh, we're going to share this out this morning to a bunch of different places. Uh, and uh, before we get started, I know you're all coming on as I'm talking. And you see in the background that I have a friend with me. Like I said, I, this week is going to be a special week because I have my friend Brian Jacobson, who is the alumni representative for Trinity Bible College. And uh, that's where I'm at. I am here at my master's program. And uh, we're just going to have some fun this week talking about the Word of God. And we actually are going to have a special Wednesday night uh, Bible study. And so uh, be ready for that. And uh, so good morning, Mom. And you're actually watching us twice. And uh, I don't know how you're doing that, but you must be watching. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, so we are dealing with Galatians 5, 14 and 15. This is Brian Jacobson. And uh, good morning, Sherry from Wisconsin. I hope you have a lot of snow over there. And uh, so Galatians 5, 14 and 15 in the ESV says this. It says, for the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. <laughs> I, I was reading this this morning and, and Brian was telling me he was reading this this morning and he just went, oh, this is talking to me. So why was this talking to you? Well, I... I, I... I have to look at the the even the passage up above, um, verse thirteen, where it says, um, maybe in particular the last half of verse thirteen, where it talks about um, Paul writes, um, rather serve one another in love, and then verse fourteen says the entire law is summed up: love one, love your neighbor as yourself. And as where it was began speaking to me was that really loving. My neighbor is all about dying to myself. Oh, yeah. Just flat out dying to myself. And that's painful. Yeah, that is painful. I, I just, I got a kick out of the whole love your neighbor as yourself because who do you, who's your neighbor? It's everyone that we come in contact with, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes we don't even like our neighbors. And, uh, um, it's like when we first met, we met in Anaheim, California. Um, I put out a Facebook a request thing out there and I says, um, I need someone to have dinner with, you know, because I was looking for, he was looking for someone to buy his lunch is what he was looking well, for. Well, I was panhandling on Facebook <laughs> and uh, the only people that reached out to Gloria and I was him, him and his wife, Brian and Dee Dee. And they go, well, will you meet us at IHOP? And so we didn't know Brian and Dee Dee. They just got hired by Trinity to be the alumni uh, association representatives. And we met there and we just autumn, well, I don't know. I would say automatically, I'm not sure, I'm stretching it maybe, became friends. And um, we just started hanging out. So now I, I stay at their house. Uh, I've been here, what, three or four times. Yeah, and I've been here. They've blessed me. And this time they blessed me with a big room and comfortable sleeping mm -hmm. area. And it was great, by the way. Anyways, um, but we hung, we have been hanging out. I uh, feel like he's like my brother. Amen. And... Uh, but here's what kicked me in the head this morning. The first time I've ever read it. I've read the Bible, I don't know, many years. Is, is, but if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. And I'm thinking, man, how many times have you had a neighbor and they just, you got in an argument or you got in a fight or a, a disagreement and you never rendered it or you never fixed it and you just... And you just started biting one another, you know, snipping at one another. And it and it consumed. It says, do not consume. You should work it out, you know. And, and too many times. Tim, who do we, honestly, honestly, am I going to, do I typically find myself in a biting and devouring type situation with the person who lives to the east or to the west of me? Not likely. The person that I'm probably most prone or persons that I would be most prone to be in a biting and devouring <laughs> relationship with is those that I love. Yeah. Those that I'm, 
my spouse, yeah. my kids, my 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 brothers or sisters, uh, and then those that we're close to. Bottom line, well, not only family members, yeah, but also um, church member. Yeah. You know, yeah. what is it? I, I there was a book out uh, probably about ten to fifteen years ago. It was about uh, sheep that bite. <laughs> It was biting sheep or something like that was the name of the book. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Don't quote me on that. But it was literally about biting sheep, and it was about fighting in the pews. And we need to understand that the Lord really desires us to love one another, and and, and even love one another above ourselves. You know, and that we just stop fighting and and put one another even first. Absolutely. And I'm just thinking, you know, this morning it's it's Tuesday, and maybe you're in a disagreement with somebody. Maybe you need to work it out. Maybe um, this will be the beginning of of clearing the air. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking about. So how do you do that then? How do you how do, do we how do we clear the air? <laughs> that's a, that's a <laughs> that is episode. the hardest thing. Yeah. I, you know, if you're wrong, apologize. Maybe that's even the hard, first yeah. step is to say you're wrong. But most people don't like to say they're wrong, yeah. you know, is to say, you know, I was wrong. But <laughs> even if you're not wrong, is start the conversation is, well, let's just hang out. Maybe just let it go. If it's been like years, let it go. Once someone asked me, what, well, if that person has passed away, there was another conversation mm -hmm. is, um, how do I forgive the person that has already passed away? Well, you just forgive yourself um the other day i was talking to somebody on the road um he was mad at god there's another one um he was mad at god that how do i get for you know i've, I've been really mad at god and he says how, how do i get forgiveness god i keep I, I i know god forgives me but i can't forgive myself for being mad at god mm. and i says well you know god's grace is bigger than anything and i says okay God already forgave you, so forgive yourself. We have a difficult problem of forgiving ourselves. And so when we render forgiveness from another person, we still have to forgive ourselves too yeah. because we want to have a good relationship, right? We want to have a good, good relationship. Um, Air Fresh... Freshner, his name is Jesus. Okay, that's kind of weird, Cliff. All right. <laughs> so, um, well, a, an expression um, when I when we originally came to the college here, I began working in facilities, and in in, in one of the boiler rooms for the field house, the Ray Elmer Field House, there's this gray box. It's about this big, and right in the middle there is a rectangular red button that says reset. Yeah. And, and, and I have found that there are times when I just can't articulate well enough to, to my bride that I'm wrong, that, you know, that there's, ought, there's, there's, there's tension there. And sometimes the, the easiest thing for me to do is say, hey, can we press the reset button? Oh, that's good. You know, I mean, that just kind of disarms both of us to say, hey, um, you know, we're not loving each other right now in this situation. Yeah. Can we just can I just press the reset button? That's good. I actually Carrie and I have been going through a book how to how to fight, um, how to healthy fight or something like that. I can't remember the book. It's at home, um, and and realizing that I don't like to fight. I'd rather avoid. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, if we is if there's tension, I'd rather not fight. I I'd rather avoid the situation, a and. Um, with anybody. I don't like to fight. I don't, if you're, if you seem like you're tense with me, I'm going to avoid yeah. um, whatever's going on because I don't want to get bit. I don't want to get, uh, I'd rather shut down and walk away and, and, and avoid you because you're like a, a Doberman pincher. If I've offended you somehow, I'm going to walk around and not mess around because I don't want to get bit. I don't want to get devoured. I don't want to cause I'd rather avoid, and I, I think some people do that. They, mm -hmm. They'd they rather, even though I still love you, I just don't want to be in conflict with you. Yeah. And so I think there's a number of people that do that. 
Oh yeah. And so, I'm like the dinosaur, the green dinosaur in um, in Toy Story, the Tyrannosaurus Rex in, in Toy Story. That says, I hate conflict. <laughs> that that is a yeah. I don't like conflict. And maybe you guys are the same way. Maybe some of you rather do conflict. And there are people that really like conflict. And then there's other people that don't like conflict. And I think with this conversation this morning is we have talked about. Um, conflict and avoidance and but where, when it comes down to it is you should love your neighbor as yourself you should really look at this passage of scripture so um, again on Wednesday night I'm going to close this out Wednesday night we are going to gather at 8 o'clock um, join us on, on 8 o'clock on this station we'll be sharing out we'll be talking about Trinity uh, and and uh, how cool it is because I went here and and he works here and uh, and but we're gonna share from Hebrews 11 that night but get out your notebook I got mine and we're gonna talk I read out Galatians 5 14 and 15 in your notebook let me read it to you for the whole law is fulfilled in one word you shall love your neighbor as yourself but if you bite and devour one another. Watch out that you are not consumed by one another. Galatians 5, 14, 15. Write that verse out. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. So if you have any prayer requests, go ahead and start putting those in, and we're going to pray for those. And uh, so go ahead and start writing those in, and we're going to pray for those this morning. I'll wait for just a second because I know I dropped that in on you. All right, so we're going to start praying, and then I know they'll start popping up, because we're sideways this morning, not long ways, because they usually will pop. Lord, we just thank you so much for this morning. We thank you that uh, you just bless and that you take care of. I pray for my mom this morning that, Lord, whatever's going on, that you just uh, will minister and that, Lord, that you comfort. I pray for Corey, Lord Jesus, who is suffering with her colon, Lord, just this morning. I pray that you just uh, minister. I pray for Aunt Chris and Uncle Jose, that, Lord, that you heal their bodies, and that, Lord, that you minister. And I pray that, Lord God, that you just uh, will um, take care of this disease that are running through our country called COVID, that you heal our land. I also pray, Lord Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that you give our government wisdom yes. and that, Lord, that you just take care of it. I pray that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to bless somebody today mm. and that, Lord, that you give us the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. And, Lord, I thank you that, Lord, that you give us today and that, Lord, that you help us to love our neighbor and that, Lord, if we are in conflict with somebody, that, Lord, that you help yes, us to Jesus. work it out. Help us not to avoid, but to engage and to really work things out. And Lord, we just love you and praise you. Lord, we give you this day. Lord, uh, help us to work through things. And Lord, today, we just give you this day. Lord, bless my friends who are watching now and bless yes, those who Jesus. are gonna watch later. Lord, we love you and we give you this day in your name. Amen. Amen. So love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 6.30. Brian will be back with me this rest of this week. And again, don't forget about Wednesday night at 8 o'clock where we study Hebrews 11, and it's going to be a great discussion. Don't forget about Hebrews 11 at 8 o'clock tomorrow night at, on Wednesday. But every day this week, 6.30, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. God bless you. Love you guys.